I went camping with some friends up in Yosemite last summer. One night I wandered away from the campfire. I was looking for this little spot we were using as a latrine, but I'd had one too many beers and I got lost in the darkness. For a moment, I thought I heard somebody call to me. When I turned to see who it was, I was struck on the head by a large pine cone. When I regained consciousness, I found myself confronted by several small fur-bearing animals. There were some chipmunks, a fox, a couple of skunks, a beaver, a few weasels, and standing at my feet was a rather husky raccoon who stared right in my eyes and said, What's the matter, pink boy? Too many fermented beverages? Uh, could you tell me? Shut up! We've been sent to give you a message. A message from who? From the Loyal Order of Lower Mammals, Northern California Division, he barked back, and all the animals lifted their paws in some sort of salute to their organization. Chip, chip, cha, they shouted. We want you humans to know that we're sick of your stinking attitude towards nature. It's bad enough what you're doing to the ecosystem, but what really cheeses us off is the way you portray us in cartoons. You always make us out to be dopey little freaks with silly grins and speech impediments. Half the time you've got us wearing clothing, dressed up like we were your children or something. You think that's cute? That's not cute. That's sick. And why are you always creating these bizarre myths about us? For instance, you say we raccoons wash our food. We don't wash our food. We soak our food in water because it's the only way we can digest our food. We don't have salivary glands. Stop trying to give us human qualities. And possums. Possums don't play dead. They have narcolepsy. You've taken a traumatic sleep disorder and tried to turn it into something cute. What's wrong with you two-legged jerks anyway? Oh, I swear we're going to have to bump you off like we did the dinosaurs. Wait a minute. You guys killed the dinosaurs? You're damn right we killed the dinosaurs and we do it again in a minute. Those fat, crusty, walnut-brained losers. Of course we iced them. What do you think it was? Mass suicide? They were no match for us. We're warm-blooded. Nocturnal. While they were off snoozing on some warm rock, we snuck in and ate their eggs. We cut their bloodline, you get it? Hey, and don't think you soft-skinned know-it-alls are going to be any more of a challenge. You know how we're always rummaging through your garbage at night? Well, we're not just looking for a late-night snack, buddy. We've been doing research, studying your diet. And what do we find? Big Mac wrappers, Jack Daniels bottles, and bag after bag of processed sugar. We figure we'll let you poison yourselves for a few more years, and then, when you're good and weak, we strike. We're going to relieve ourselves in your water supply. We're going to gnaw our way through your wires and cables. We're going to run rampant like kamikazes into your traffic, causing monumental accidents. The day of the woodland revolution is at hand. Chip, chip, cha, the other animals shouted once again. And once again, I was struck on the head by a large pine cone. As I was losing consciousness, the raccoon crawled right up to my ear and whispered, We've got teeth, and we've got claws, and you're going to find out why. You're going down, pink boy, and there's no net to catch you this time. Oh, and do the words bubonic plague mean anything to you? Just before I blacked out, he added, And don't forget, only you can prevent forest fires. Ha, 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 ha.